even with your use of the word unfortunate, Brown, I thought we had progressed way beyond the, the term of unfortunate. But we have not. Brown. Dolores, we have not. But the unfortunate thing is that <laughs> while we are 100 years beyond the Civil War, the basic frame of reference, the basic value system of American culture says positively, unequivocally, if you're black, get back. If you're white, you're right. If you're brown, stick around. <laughs> may, I, may I interrupt you? Yes. I am neither black nor white. Where do I go? Well, you are what we would call, <laughs> what we would call in the French, I guess, and that perhaps this is the reason why French is the language of diplomacy. You are neither come see nor come saw. <laughs> you are Kelka Shores in the middle. <laughs> Uh, this is where the white man is wrong about this integration thing. He seems to be of the opinion that we want to intermarry, that we want to socialize, such as we're doing here now. This matter of friendship, I think, uh, uh, runs its own course. I think people seek their friends and make their friends in the natural course of association, be they black, white, green, yellow, or brown. But let me get back to what you originally said. They think we want to socialize with them. They think we want to sit with them. They think we want to go to school with their children. These are the things that they think. Well, we do. We do want to go to school with them, of course. Well, the but the important thing is we don't want to be denied. But the biggest thing is what they fear. They but fear we don't want to go. This is not uh, our point. It's not argument. that we don't, want, we don't necessarily, necessarily want to go to school with well, them. Well, Mary, this whole argument, you know, <laughs> this business infuriates me. The attempt to explain my highest motivation to achieve the objectives of my life in terms of a bedroom or communism this I've got to go down on. I'm not going to stand still for this. Well, it's certainly that the, it's certain that the bedroom argument is always the argument that the, uh, the extremists, the lunatic friends, we might say, always use that to try to end all discussion. Well, isn't this ridiculous? It's too late for the bedroom argument. Long I, I frankly think, Dolores, that your, your complexion <laughs> is enough to end that argument right now. The bedroom argument began back in slavery days, and it did with the Negroes. Because I know of no Negro slave who had the courage to go into any white plantation owner's house and look after his wife. Exactly, exactly. But many were invited. So we see which direction the motivation moves in. Yes. Well, anyway, I think that the whole argument, uh, the, the objection to the Southern, especially the Southern white man, is the matter of intermarriage and socializing and so forth. And the day that he looks up and looks around, Negroes like us, he will find out that it's way too late, that he better get down off of that kind of an argument and find some other reason for objecting to us. Exactly, we're not, Dolores. We're not all black. Some of us are white, some of us are brown, some of us are the same color. This whole business of integration, I think we've looked at it in one way, integration for the Negro. But I think that integration in America will free the white man. Integration will make the white man respect the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment. It will make him respect the Bill of Rights. It will make him become a, an American family, following his own constitution, which he has never followed properly, because Negroes would not be living in ghettos. We wouldn't have the, the separation by color. 